Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll discuss JSX. It's like you have a normal person and you give him additional powers, so you get superhuman. So, JSX is a syntax extension to JavaScript. It may remind you of a template language, but it comes with a full power of JavaScript. It's a combination of JavaScript and XML-like syntax. React doesn't require using JSX, but most people use it. Why JSX? Instead of artificially separating technologies by putting markup and logic in separate files, React separates concerns with loosely coupled units, called components, that contain both. Let's see it in action. In this example, I will declare a variable called name and then use it inside JSX by wrapping it in curly braces. Then I will pass that element to React DOM to render method. That's how you can render a variable in your HTML. But you can put any valid JavaScript inside the curly braces in JSX. For example, and it gets compiled. We can also embed the result of calling a JavaScript function. Create a function that returns first name and last name from the user. Then create a user object with first name and last name. And now, let's create a JSX element where we call our format function and pass our user as a parameter. And, as you can see, JSX is injecting the result of the function in our text. JSX is an expression too. This means that you can use JSX inside of if statements and for loops, assigning to variables, accept it as arguments, and return it from functions. Here we check if there is a user object so we can utilize our function. Otherwise, return this static string. You may also use curly braces to embed a JavaScript expression in an attribute. First, let's add color property and pass it with the JavaScript expression. JSX is actually closer to JavaScript, not HTML, so there are a few key differences to note when writing it. Class name is used instead of class for adding CSS classes, as class is a reserved keyword in JavaScript. Properties and methods in JSX are camel case, so this onclick will become camel cased onclick. Self closing tags must end in a slash, for example. JSX tags may contain children as well. The only important thing is that it needs to have one top-level element, and there can be siblings on top level. That's all for JSX. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna further explain how elements get rendered in the DOM. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. And let me know in the comments if you like this tutorial, or if you have some feedback. Take care.